Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem 7 playthrough. Last time we finished up chapter 23. And this time, we're going to continue on with chapter 24. The Byrne Royal Family is a pageant of power, love, and hate. Ellie would find himself embroiled in their troubles. He has been sent to recover the Byrne Family treasure, the Fire Emblem. It has been stolen from the palace vault. Elliewood enters the royal palace seeking clues. Chapter 24, Unfulfilled Heart. We finally arrived. I can't believe they built a palace in these mountains. Bern is the only country in the continent where wyverns still fly. With its wyvern riders, I imagine this castle is the best defended anywhere. I agree. Look at the path leading up to the mountain's face. It would be impossible to scale on that in a direct assault. Defenders positioned higher up would have a clear advantage. Even the best soldiers would be taken out with ease. Hmm. Look at that. They don't have any sentries posted. They must have a lot of faith in their defenses. Look at these surroundings. They probably make do simply with patrols within the castle. The mighty burn. I'd not like it as an enemy. And yet, from this impregnable fortress, a treasure was stolen. Perhaps the king really is responsible for all of this. It's hard to imagine any thief cracking burn's defenses. You're right, but I can't imagine why the king would do this. To find the fire emblem, we're going to need clues. Listen, why don't we try sneaking into the castle? That's what I was waiting for. I like the way you think. Whatever happens, we must not be caught. If it looks impossible, turn around and come back here. Got it. Of course. <clears throat> this is an inner garden. Shh! Someone's coming this way. Here, into this thicket. Brother! Hello, Zephiel. Ah, Guinevere. Have you been well? Uh-huh, I've been fine. But if you would come and see me every day, I'd be even better. Much, much better. Every day? Well, that's an awful lot, but I'll come by as often as possible. All for you, dear sister. Yippee! Guinevere! Guinevere! Where are you, lass? Here I am, father. Welcome home. Ah, there you are. Were you a good girl while I was gone? Come, give your father a kiss. You're as adorable as ever. Well met, Father. Zephiel. Hmm. You take the same unpleasant tone as your mother. What? I... I... Silence. What brings you to my castle? Ah, yes. Murdoch. Yes, my lord. We were hunting in the forest earlier. We found this and thought Guinevere might like it. Eek! A baby fox? How cute! It's so very cute. Is it for me? Really? Do you like it? Yes, I do. Thank you. I do love you, brother. Guinevere, go play for a while. Okay. Come on, let's go, you lovely little fox. I've, I've told you to stay away from this castle. Yes, I know. I beg your pardon. I heard that Guinevere was ill and I was worried. Ha! You mean you came to see if she would die, don't you? Father? I beg your pardon, your majesty. That's... Hold your tongue, Murdoch. Do not forget whom you serve, the King of Bern. It's all right, Murdoch. Father, I would never want to see Guinevere harmed, and, and you and your mother think of nothing more than stealing my throne. You plague me. Return to the manse. As you wish. I beg your leave, Father. No matter how I warn him, he comes. Why is it that the very sight of him tries my patience so? He is truly of my own flesh and blood, yet... He he he. It is jealousy, my king. Eh? Who's there? It is I, Sonya. You. Well, is the emblem safe? Yes, I have it in my possession. It is all as we planned. It is unlikely, but the queen might attempt to win the emblem back. Are you prepared? I will not fail. It is secreted away within the Black Fang's fortress. 
Keep it concealed until dusk of the tenth day, then return it to me. As you will, your grace. And what of my other request? One of the four fangs will tend to it. There will be no mistakes. However, General Murdoch, the man protecting the prince, he is young, yet well respected. Shall we finish him too? Murdoch, his birth is low, and yet he, his combat skills have won him the title of Wyvern General. It would be a great blow if Byrne were to lose him. I'll think of something to remove him from Zephiel's side. Will that do? Yes, it would be a great help. Wait. What? What is it? I sense someone. Where? Father, brother, where are you? Do not worry, it is my daughter. Of course. Do not forget the Black Fang's role once we are successful. Of course. Now be gone, quickly. Farewell. Zephiel, this kit, it... Hmm? Where's my brother? He had an errand to perform and left. Oh no, 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 I wanted to play. Come, Guinevere, I will play with you. No, I want to play with him, not you. I'll go and call him back. Here, hold my fox. Attend me. Yes, my lord. Take this beast and kill it. Do not let Guinevere know what you did. Understood. Zephyr, you knave, trying to steal my Guinevere's love. You will learn your place. That was close. I was afraid they'd catch us. This is worse than I'd imagined. The Black Fang has already reached the king. Their plans for Lycia failed, and now they're targeting Burn. If a country as powerful as Burn moves, peace knows no hope. What if Nurgle desires his powerful acquaintances? Calling dragons back. Does he wish to embroil the world in chaos? Whatever his plans, he must be stopped at any cost. Right, find the Fire Emblem and return it to the Queen. We do that, and she'll point us towards the Shrine of the Seals. If we go to the Black Fang Fortress, that's our goal. I must meet with everyone and seek out their fortress. I wonder if Elliewood and the others are well. Please, Ninian. That's all you've spoken of since they left. I understand your concern for Lord Elliewood, but... Nils, I... You don't have to hide anything from me. But you must not fall in love with them, you know. We are different from them. I know, but I cannot... I... Ninian, where are you going? I need time to think. May I be alone, please? Ninian. We'd better hurry and rejoin the others. Oh no, look, it's a wyvern rider. She's coming closer. Has she seen us? No, it's not us she's seen. It's... It's Nils. Let's go, Hector. Okay. Ah! Who... Who are you? Light green hair, crimson eyes, no mistake. You're one of Lord Nurgle's lost toys. Yes, found you at last. What are you? Why can't I sense you? What happened to your bodyguards? I heard they were tough. I wanted to see for myself. Well, you're here, so they can't be too far away, can they? Come on, boy. Scream. Call your friends to you. I grow weary of waiting. I am not known for my patience. I'm the one you're looking for. Unhand the boy. You've come. I've been looking forward to this. Looking forward? What do you mean? The chance to crush you. Then hand the children over to Lord Nurgle. Nurgle, so you're one of his dogs, are you? I'll not be called a dog by you, Blackheart. True, we have a contract with the Black Fang, but... I am loyal to the one master only, he who sits on the throne of Burn. Then why are you in the employment of the Black... There's been too much talking. Let's get started, shall we? I've long hungered for someone to test my strength against. Make this last a while, will you? I want to enjoy this. Listen up, everyone. It's playtime. Come on out. The palace has promised to stay out of this. Be as wild as you will. Slim, our allies are hidden here and there to avoid being spotted. This is not to our advantage. We must gather everyone quickly. Okay, well... Got a lot of planning to do, and we can bring a lot of units to this as well. But, um, yeah, gonna go ahead and focus on this. 
and I will be right back. So see you guys then. Okay, guys, I am back, and there's actually a couple things I need to highlight. Uh, something I actually got incorrect in the last video, and then just a few other things that I haven't really showcased yet. Uh, but first of all, for this chapter, we can bring 15 units, which is absolutely perfect, because I can bring all of my units plus Ninian, so it works out just perfectly. Um, as usual, a lot of my units that are close to promoting have their promotion items and their secondary weapons already. Um, actually, Wrath does not. Um, well, I can I can make that work since there is the base not too far from where we are. Um, so yeah, I can bring all these units. I'm happy about that, and I feel good about that. Second, I actually made a bit of a mistake, and it kind of didn't help that I had started a Elliewood hard mode playthrough alongside this. I was kind of talking about a gold card uh, in the last video. Uh, I actually don't have a gold card, and for one, it's not even called the gold card in this game, it's called the silver card, and I still don't even have that, uh, because the silver card is a hard mode exclusive item that basically allows you to uh, purchase items in shops for half price. I believe that's kind of their way to make the mode a little easier, because you can kind of get more weapons and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, uh, gold card doesn't exist, and the silver card, not in normal mode, so that was my bad for messing that up. Uh, third, this is actually a very interesting chapter, because um, you have your Lord units right here, and in addition to that, you also have two other groups of units, where all your other units are, so you have to kind of uh, just basically survive this huge battlefield, uh, while uh, just kind of... Uh, getting as many kills as possible. Uh, this is a survive chapter, so you don't actually kill the boss or seize anything, you just wait a number of turns, and once that turns are met, you finish the chapter, so very easy, all things considered. You can just kind of find a place to hole up and just survive for the rest of the time. I will not be doing that, but that is something you can do. Uh, fourth, you can actually see what are inside shops uh, before you start the battle. You just can't actually buy anything. So this is um, what you can find at this shop. Got some good magic tomes here. Got a min staff, so that's pretty good. And then you also have the vol um, the armory, which has a lot of killer weapons and some distance weapons as well. So if you want to buy any of these, feel free to go ahead. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that, but you know these are here if you do want to use them. And fifth and finally, we have the boss for this chapter. This is Vita. We want to avoid her at all costs, because, yeah, that. Uh, apparently she's actually been blessed with Nurgle's magic. And the funny thing about Nurgle's magic, it's actually due to the spear right here. Uh, this is what's known as the Uber Spear. The spear that Vida holds in this chapter, which basically gives her all these crazy stat bonuses. If uh, she didn't have this particular spear, uh, she would not have those bonuses. So this is the only spear that's like this. This spear, just for this chapter, is what's given her all of these bonuses. Now there is actually a fun little glitch called the Mind Glitch, where you could uh, essentially just um, have her drop the spear so she doesn't have it and you can kill her. Uh, but if you do for some reason kill her, uh, you will actually miss out on a future character you can get for this playthrough. So if you want to get every character, don't kill her. But... For all intents and purposes, we're just going to avoid her because these are some dangerous stats. And she can critical very, very easily, so uh, keep that in mind as well. Yeah, I got a 16% crit rate. And I believe that even gets uh, increased a little bit due to her stats, but I don't know for exact certainty or anything. Uh, but yeah, that's Vida. Um, let's go ahead and just very quickly scan through everything. I believe there are some items you can steal. You have a Knight's Crest here, which you can steal, but uh, I'm not going to need that, really. But it is here here if you want it. Um, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get things started, because I want to get things moving. This is, uh, even though it's an easy chapter, almost a free chapter, it's still going to be a very long chapter, so I want to get things started here. We'll help, too. Tell us what to do. You as well, Lady Louise? Of course. No need for concern. She is quite skilled with the bow. Those burn wyvern riders will be sorry to meet her. Despite what you may think, I shoot much better than I dance or sing. 
I believe I can be of some small assistance. I understand. Thank you for your help. Now, let me give you this. It's from Lord Athos. What is it? A heaven seal. It reveals hidden strengths. It only works for a select few, but it has an air of mystery to it. Do you think you can use it? No, it won't work for me. Wait for the proper time and have the other two try it. It might not work now, but I'm sure that it'll all be able to use it at some point. Just keep trying. I understand. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Heaven Seal is the promotion item for Elliewood, Lynn, and Hector. Don't think I'll be using it this chapter, but, uh, you know, um, they are getting there, so once they do reach level 20, they'll be able to have uh, their promotion item as well. You're slim, is that right? Please forget about my title and standing in my country. You are our tactician, and I will do as you command. Well then, I hope we'll work well together. Well, thank you, Pent. I think we'll work well together, too. Also, I meant to give the Aphas drops, but uh, I'll do that next time. So over here, we got a Luna guy. Um, only six attack, though, so he shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Hector over here. Um, you have Elfire, right? You do. Elfire will kind of hurt, but your speed is not good. Heck, Hector should be able to double you, no problem. And let's just verify we're not in her range. Okay, we're good. I'll go ahead and put the hand axe out. Now I also want to get rid of these guys. I'll probably use Elliewood and Lynn to kind of fight these guys off. I'm going to just ignore this guy here. And let's start working on this. Okay, so when I was uh, actually, when I first played this game a long time ago, this was actually the chapter that holed me up. Like, this is the chapter that I stopped my first official file on and restarted because my team wasn't good, I lost a lot of units, and I didn't really think about restarting to get them back, and I just had a really rough time. I thought you had to kill Vita, which you definitely don't. <laughs> So I thought I did something wrong and just like went backwards and then later I found out Oh, so I'm not supposed to fight her. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> makes a lot more sense to why she's just kicking my ass right now. <laughs> that makes sense. I meant to use you, not... Urk can't dance. <laughs> well, maybe he can. Maybe he can. Maybe he's kind of uh, leading us on. Maybe he does have some dancing abilities. Um, let's go ahead and just equip this, because I don't think any, either of you have a javelin, so. Um, over here. Ah, uh, damn it, Will. Maybe more luck with Kanas. I do get more luck with Kanas, but can he actually hit both of these? Oh, missed one. Well, Will could always get the uh, second blow, so... Might still be able to make it work. Or maybe not. I could also miss. Okay. Come on, Will! Come on, Will! Oh, Will. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> I actually had faith and belief in you. <laughs> and then you led me astray. It's okay, it happens. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with Oswin. Because Oswin's already promoted. I still want to try to avoid using them if I can. If I can. And, yeah, we'll just do this. Um, also, oh, I should probably talk about Pent and Louise. Um, so, yeah, Pent's a Sage. Louise is a Sniper. The advanced class of a Archer. Advanced class of a Mage. They already have A support. Um, the way their supports work is they have conversations, uh, but they're they're only in specific battles. So if you bring them in those battles, you'll actually get their 
you know, C, B, and A support conversations. But as far as, like, their actual support level, it's already A. Which means they can actually not get A rank with anyone else. They can only get up to B rank with uh, their support partners. But, uh, yeah, these guys are always A support. And more than that, if you lose one of these units, you will lose the other one as well. So keep that in mind. If Pent dies, Louise will die too. If Louise dies, Pent will die. So keep that in mind. And also, as far as these guys' units, Pent is really, really good. In fact, he's probably one of the few promoted units that if you lose one of your like magic units, he would be a good replacement because he is pretty damn good. And he's also a really good healer too since he has A rank and stabs already. So he's good for like maybe a first playthrough if you're trying to uh, get through the game. Louise, I mean, she's not bad, but I just like the potential of the other archers more. That's just my own personal opinion, like... Will already has more strength than Louise, and Will's is not even promoted yet. And his other stats are also about on par. Obviously, her speed is a lot better than Will's, and her defenses, for that matter, too. But again, kind of like Pent, she's there if you don't have any archers and you want to have a replacement archer. So yeah, that's basically how they do. Not bad, but um, I wouldn't say they're the best if you have other units already. Except maybe Pen. Pen is just ungodly good. I'm not going to be using him, though. Oh, come on, Raven. You're almost there. <laughs> he is just one experience point away from... Uh, I almost said evolution. Uh, from promotion. Actually, two away, but still ridiculously close. Anyway. Okay, so let's see figured this was going to be the case. Oh no. Oh, well. <laughs> That's Fiora. Fiora does that sometimes. And Don't tell me you're a level 19 too. I think she's 18 though, so I think she's still a level away from it. Man, this is... Seriously, all my units are so close to promotion now. It's awesome. I can't wait. I, I always love when units start promoting, because then they're just... You know that you've actually made it through the... I don't want to say the toughest part of the Fire Emblem games, but still, like when you start promoting everybody, it's kind of like, well, you kind of know what you're doing now. You can f kind of feel comfortable going through the rest of the game, at least in my opinion. That's kind of how I feel about that. That guy actually did more damage than I was expecting. But um, we'll uh, we'll be okay. So yeah, you're level 19, and you're oh no, you're also level. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh so then, so you can just like miss a unit and be fine. That's hilarious. Okay, well let's uh let's get Kent ready because Kent will be definitely done after this over here. Um. Maybe I can... Can you actually? Yeah, you can. If you just get one hit, Wrath, that's fine. Because I think getting one hit will give you a level up. But, eh, maybe not. It is a longbow. A longbow is not exactly accurate or anything. Come on, just one hit, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's okay. We have other units nearby. Can't quite get you over. You're pretty much okay if I do this. It is nice to have a steel... Uh, a heal staff for Priscilla again. A steel staff. That would be a cool staff, though. Just steal items from a distance. Also, Hector, you are just ridiculously... Uh, ridiculously low on attack. I can't even kill you with a steel! Oh my god. 
I almost have to use the uh, wolf bail now. Yeah, I have to because frickin' <laughs> your attack is so low. Yeah, I'll get these kills with Hector because Hector is the lord of mine that's behind the most. Well, at least he's getting strength now. Here, I'll use the physics staff that Pent has. Meanwhile, how you guys doing? It'd be nice if I could actually get a little further, but, I mean, at least I'll be in the... forest here. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna actually get Lynn a little further in. Because I'll just get, I'll just try to give uh, Elliewood the sage kill. Because I'll go ahead and say it right now. Lynn and Hector can promote right now. Elliewood can't. Elliewood has a forced story promotion. So he'll get his promotion a bit later. But Lynn and Hector you can promote right now. I'm just going to wait till level 20 anyway. Because that's what I do. Um, you're the Nightcrest. I don't know if I'll steal it because Kent might just end up killing him anyway. But uh, still, we'll see what I can do. Okay. And you're still not quite there yet either, Dart. I'm not really sure how reinforcements are in this level. Oh, there goes him. Honestly, if you don't kill him, Kent, that would be okay, but... Yep, of course you are. Okay, well, Kent's level 20. Maybe I'll end the video with his promotion or something. We gotta get through all through these other units first. Ouch! Was not expecting getting hit by that, but here we are. So I missed out on that Knight's Crest, but again, we don't really need it right now, because, um, again, we have all the promotion items we need. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll go ahead and end the video, but we'll end the video with a promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. He was the second unit we got alongside Sane, and he is finally getting his first promotion, or his only promotion here. Kent will promote from a Cavalier to a Paladin. He actually kind of looks like Marcus a little bit, but just, uh, he's red instead of orange. And there we go. You can also use axes, so... Kent, you're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. It's been an honor to have you in this playthrough so far. Continue to kick butt, my man. So let me go ahead and heal this up, and then we'll uh, end the video. So this has been Slim Kirby. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time when... I'm going to try to finish this chapter, but it's going to be a long one, because we have a lot of turns to go through. However, some of the turns will go fast because um, if you're efficient, you'll kill a lot of enemies and you really won't have time to wait for anyone else. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.